Jackie Lambie is a, a senator who is very passionate. She has a very different worldview and a very different lived experience to most people in Canberra. She also knows that depending on whether Centre Alliance votes against something or One Nation votes for something, that that means she would be the casting vote to decide whether something can pass the Senate or not. Generally speaking, she's been a lot better with this power than she was the last time she was on the national stage. Well, this week she has started to say some things that, frankly, are the Jackie of old, not the Jackie of today. Now, I get it, people get very excited. But as you know, there is this big push on to make the government hand over the report that was the Prime Minister and Cabinet's investigation into Bridget McKenzie, remember her, because they want to try to pull apart the sports rorts scandal. Now, they're already going to do that in a Senate commission. They're already going to have the Auditor-General give evidence to show what projects did and didn't meet the bureaucrats' mark for what should and shouldn't be funded. But we don't live in a state where only bureaucrats make decisions. We live in a state where, a country rather, where the politician, the elected politician of Team Red or Team Blue gets to make decisions on the advice of the bureaucrats. Yesterday, there was a ridiculous attempt in the Senate that you would have heard about. A ridiculous attempt to try to gag Matthias Cormann as being the person representing the Prime Minister in the Senate, effectively nobbling his ability to do his job to represent the person who runs this country. All because this document won't be handed over. Now, we can have whatever views we want about whether or not that document should be handed over. Let's have the chat. But there will be no lack of information that this Senate inquiry is going to get into. And I'll tell you what the end result will be. It was a rort. Hence why, ultimately, the minister went. But this is part of the threat that Jackie Lambie is starting to get towards in the past 24 hours. She is now saying that she may well not vote for a completely different, separate piece of legislation because this document hasn't been handed over. That is the classic definition of horse trading. Now, if Pauline Hanson does it, the media would criticise her. But, of course, she doesn't do it. If Centre Alliance somehow do it, or Nick Xenophon used to do it, they used to hail him as a genius. But is this what people expect out of a crossbench Senate? No. I'm a massive supporter of independents, smaller parties, and people like Jackie Lambie being in the parliament. Remember, I was the only national television show that travelled to Tasmania and gave her a platform to talk about what she wanted to do before people had the chance to vote. Most of the national media who now talk to her couldn't have cared less when she was out on the campaign trail. She said this today about this idea of voting down a piece of legislation that has nothing to do with sports rorts, everything to do with making sure the dodgy union officials would no longer be able to live off the workers' teat, that she would deny that vote, just as she did last time. And remember, that was apparently to do with principles about the piece of legislation. If she wants to vote it down because of that, you should say that's what it's for. But you shouldn't say stuff like this. If they can't show integrity up here and do the right thing, why would I, why would I be voting for an insurance integrity bill? I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking, well, if you can't discipline your own and you can't show integrity, then maybe it's about time we put these talks on hold with insuring integrity um, until we see some real, until we see some, you know, some discipline going on here and until we see that report. The thing is, there is oversight. The Senate has the ability, when the government is not in control, which, remember, has basically ever been thus, with one exception of 2004 to 2007 under John Howard, where the opposition can get together with the Greens and minor parties to be able to call things like Senate inquiries, where you are compelled to turn up, you have to have a look at all of the evidence. So the sports rorts story has still got plenty to go and they'll pull plenty of it apart. But the idea that we're in some sort of American-style democracy, where the White House is holding back thousands of key documents that if we didn't have them, we wouldn't know what was really going on, is not quite what's happening here. I have faith in Jackie Lambie, because I think Jackie Lambie 2.0 is a much better and smarter politician than the first version. My advice to her, though, which is about as much as she's paying for it, is don't get sucked in by the media who couldn't have cared less whether you returned to the parliament or not. They want you to be a blocker and they will give you all manner and excuse to block something that has nothing to do 
with the sports rorts affair. They are separate things. If you want to equate the behaviour of the Prime Minister's office not handing over a document to that of the CFMEU, then I can't help people. But it's pretty obvious they are nowhere near the same thing.